So my name is Yoni Benatar and I'm project manager for the Mini Drone. So explain how you guys have advanced what we saw with the Aerodrone 2.0 with this new Mini Drone. So this is the new uh, version, a new quad rotor helicopter from Parrot. So it's just all the technology we've been developing for the drones before that is compacted into this product. So it's just super easy to fly. You just connect it to your smartphone over a Bluetooth 4 connection and you just press the takeoff button and it's just very easy, to, very steady to fly. Can you walk us through some of the different games and things you can do with this device? Well, you can fly with it uh, without the wheels, you know, you can remove the wheels like this so you can make some uh, like uh, uh, action moves you know and fly in your house and make uh, you know fly in your kitchen go in your whatever you want and you make your own circuits and then you can uh, plug uh, put the wheels on and you can actually uh, roll on the floor on the walls and the ceiling it's a whole new dimension for the drone it's different application when it comes to the AR drone 2.0 you guys have shipped and allowed developers to create games multiplayer experiences Will the same thing happen with the mini drone? It could be, it could be. It will be an open SDK as well, so anyone can contribute and suggest a game. So we, we could do this, yes, sure. Can you walk us through the technology that's inside this little device? So there's some uh, sensors, a lot of sensors inside the uh, Accelero, Gyro, uh, ultrasonic sensor, vertical camera mm -hmm. to make, uh, to, to when hovering, it's very steady by tracking dot on the ground, and a uh, barometer for the altitude uh, estimation as well. So. Uh, uh, it's very, very steady, full of, uh, of sensors to make it super easy to fly. How many of these can you have in close proximity playing together? I think I'd, uh, we have no limits. I mean, um, um, I have no limits.